<clears throat> Hello all. Uh, we're having a uh, one in 50 year flooding event in New South Wales and in other parts one in 100 years. Uh, where I live is a flood zone. We had a big one when I moved out here 11 years ago. Um, so I think we'll escape at this time. But um, yeah. So it's not, you know, sort of stuck indoors and I've shown, I, I was going to show a lot of CDs, but then I thought, hang on, let's just try something slightly different. Now, talking, someone was talking the other day, I think it was Danny and Michael, in, and Danny from LA and Michael from Dusseldorf doing a soundtracks yeah soundtracks great great uh, um, video terrific and uh, one of them probably Danny I think I'm not sure mentioned you know the music uh, on uh, compute you know um, computer video games there's some great music locked away in those um, I won't be talking about that alone but I just thought I'd show a pile of this is real nostalgia stuff. I'm just getting too old now for these fast modern games where you got to, you know, with my Xbox 360, and I stopped buying Play, PlayStation 2 was the last PlayStation I bought. Um, I got the uh, GameCube, which is a great little machine, but um, the Dreamcast, which was way ahead of its time. It's a shame that didn't take off. Um, and uh, the PlayStation 1, of course. Um, I was going to talk about PlayStation 1. Uh, if I, if there's anything I remember about music on these, I'll go with them. Okay, th these are just like quick reviews. Some of you young people probably wouldn't even know these. I mean, these are 20 from the mid-1990s to the early 2000s, so they're already 20 to 25 years old. So I'll start with this one. Alone in the Dark, Jack is Back. Um, the cover of this sucked me in. These things cost a fortune back in the day, as the machines themselves did. I went, wow, oh, my God. I've tried playing this multiple times. It is so slow and clunky. Oh, my God. Here's another one. Some of these are, are collectible now, you know, just because they're, they're old. Hell Knight, which was another early um, uh, survival horror one, uh, Konami game. The same thing. It's just so slow and unbelievably tedious. You just don't want to play it. Um, there are a couple of early ones. I had plenty more, which I gave to my nephew, who uh, is now a fed, an Australian federal policeman, so I don't think he's got time to play his old... I gave him my old play, PlayStation machine, and I gave him the first, um, the first, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, bloody hell. Stuffed up from sinus, from this, this damn rain and humidity. Um, oh, for God's sake. Um, not Resident Evil. Uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Um, Okay, now this this was another one which was pretty damn decent this day. The cover looks fantastic, but the actual game looks like pretty pretty basic sort of pixelated shit. But it was good fun this one. It was mindless but fun. Um, I'm saving now. This one was groundbreaking. Medal of Honor, the first one. There's been thousands of ones since, and I've never liked them particularly. I've got them across all of the, all the um, game consoles, but this one, the first one, was the best. Yes, it's pretty basic uh, um, you know, graphics, but but it, actually, at, when this actually came out, though, I must admit this did. Uh, there was a big leap forward in the actual quality of the graphics on this, even though it looks ridiculous now. At the time, it was pretty mind-boggling. Um, 
Yes, it's uh, it was a, it runs on on rails, you know, but it was the first. It, it's um, you know, the same deal as you know the Wolfenstein 3D. I used to play that on a old computer back in the early 90s at work, and I'd stay for hours after work just playing the game because no one, could, you know, I couldn't afford to buy a computer or the game. Um, but this was sort of like that. And yeah, it was it's great. It was I really loved that one. This is uh, Medal of Honor Underground, which is you know a huge leap forward uh, graphically. Um, but I didn't enjoy it so much because I, I prefer the shooter games. I like them on rails. Um, these ones are the ones where you got to start helping out uh, other people in the game, and I find all that really really tedious because the AI on these early games is atrocious. You know, you go. Give me, help me, and then they just stand there, you know, doing the same, you know, this all the time. Ah. MDK was a fun game, and gorgeous uh, graphics for its time. Shiny, it was a shiny production. Uh, see, the graphics. The graphics in it, it was... A limited game in that it's set in an arena and basically you just keep repeating the same sort of thing over and over. But it looks really great. Even today, it looks really good. Um, Silent Hill was the one I was trying to think of. Yeah, I gave him um, the game PlayStation 1 and Silent Hill uh, when he was a, back as a young bloke and very young. And um, I wish he... I got the... the the console back when he moved on and got other things, but uh, he gave it back. But the thing is, I wish he'd give me back the original Silent Hill. They go for a hundred bucks and more now. Um, Silent Hills, the along with Resident Evil, uh, they are, those two are my favourite survival horror. That is my thing, survival horror. Okay, to finish up, just I'm just doing PlayStation ones today and. Um, I doubt if I'll show any others, but the thing is, I just think, I love the feel of these, these lovely, thick, beautiful, lovely, thick, and they, what, you know, it's like a heavy record, it's got weight, um, and, I don't know, they, they, you know, they, they just, this is in stunning condition, this is a Resident Evil Director's Cut, uh, my original, Gorgeous condition. So, yeah, this is the one. The Resident Evil 1. Oh, my God. What a game. I've played this and played it and played it. And it's still, even though the graphics are pretty clunky by today's standards, it's, it's a classic. And the follow-up, is my favourite game of all time. And I've played this many, many times. And I'll probably play it a, a few more before I die. Resident Evil 2. Fantastic game. Fantastic. Love it to death. I have the Dreamcast version, which is superior to, to the PlayStation. It was graphically much better. Um than the um, PlayStation's capabilities of the time. And um, so I have that there. And I, if I do want to play this, I, I, I play the Dreamcast version. And it looks great. Nemesis, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Now, this is where Resident Evil started to go terribly wrong, in my opinion. I have most of the Resident Evil games across all consoles up until, you know, 2005 or... Ten or eight or something. Uh, I, no, no, I did actually buy a couple about seven years ago, and they're just rubbish. They're, you know, got all it's just all explosions and fantastic graphics. No storyline, no plot, no tension, no you know, no searching for ammunition or health. This is what made these games so scary. Was that you just didn't have the you had very little ammunition or health. And you had to you had to use your, your brains to play them. Yeah, it went started to go wrong with three. It looks terrific, 
but they started bringing too many plot developments that were just boring, too many cut scenes you got to sit through, like, and then you, oh, man, yeah, they lost the plot. I'll stick with one and two. Um, the only things that are improving upon uh, Resident Evil 1 and 2 are the GameCube remakes from almost 20 years ago now, believe it or not. Um, they did Resident Evil 0, which was a new game. Um, 1 and 2, and I think they even did, uh, they might have done Nemesis as well. No. 1, 2 and, uh, or 0, 1 and 2. And th they are much, much better looking, um, games than the, uh, Playstations, even though they're only about three or four years after the originals. The GameCube ones just look far, oh my god. Nintendo GameCube, beautiful little machine, great graphics. You know, being an old guy, I mean, I was basically playing these in my 50s. I mean, it's 20, 20, 25 years ago. I was playing in my late 40s right through to my mid 60s, which is a bit late to be playing these, but they didn't have them when I was a kid. When I was a kid, it was all pinball machines, you know, and snooker and eight ball was better, actually. You get exercise. Um, finishing up, it's getting on, always waffling on. This is one that looks fantastic. It gets great reviews, Parasite Eve. Two. Uh, it's a copy of um, Resident Evil. Um, it looks great. It just copies it, but it hasn't got the, the tension and the the weapons and the the monsters and stuff it aren't scary at all. But it is. A, it's a good game. Um, it's, it's just, I just love. I've got these in such beautiful condition. I'll, I'll be selling them off sooner or later. But uh, see, there's a. The dear old PlayStation 1. So they're the only games I have left. And uh, I just, just one of those days. So, okay, take care.